Hello gamers, it's Softkitty99 in Battle for Azeroth and today we're in Drustvar. We're down here at Hangman's Point and I'm hoping to finish off the quest chain here at Hangman's Point today. Lucille Waycrest here is accused of being a witch. Now we know she isn't a witch, but Constable Henry Framer seems to think she is a witch and so do the people in front of the stocks here. They see that she's a witch because bad things have been happening. Now we know there are witches out here in Drustvar because we've actually dealt with a couple already. But let's see if we can get Lucille off legally. A pungent solution. The first test should be simple enough. While I may not do so often, I am certainly capable of crying. Though to be honest, I've never had to cry on cue. Maybe you could help me with that though. Uh, nearby there's an onion field that belongs to one of the local farmers. It's abandoned and most of it's dried up by now, but you might be able to find one onion ripe enough in there to cause some tears. Collect a juicy onion from Hawthorne's plot near Hangman's Point. Once Britain, twice shy. I'm all too familiar with the blood flies bite. <gasps> We had them all over the field surrounding Waycrest Manor. Though I'm loath to subject myself to them on purpose, if it will help convince these people, I am willing to deal with that nuisance. Find a jar and collect as many blood flies as you can. They're common in these parts and shouldn't be too hard to find. Find an empty jar and use it to catch six hovering blood flies near Hangman's Point. Harmful if swallowed. This last test I'm not looking forward to, but it is certainly better than being set on fire. They say that a witch can't get sick. We will prove to them that I can. A venom comes from the sorrelists nearby that is used by our healers when a child swallows something they shouldn't. When ingested it will make you immediately ill, emptying the contents of the stomach. Ooh. I need several of those venom glands to get enough venom for an appropriate dose. Remove them intact might prove a little difficult. Collect five intact venom glands from the shallow sorrelisks near Hangman's Point. The coven will pay for their atrocities. Well, of the potential tests to prove that you're not a witch, those were the three that did not prove fatal. So those are the three we're going to try to use to prove that Lucille is innocent. A bug catching a jar, and we now need to go find some sorrelisks. Hello, sorrelisks! Uh, could I have your venom glands? No, I didn't think you'd be able to actually give them away to me, so I guess we're going to have to cut them out of your dead bodies. Ew. Good job we have sharp claws, I guess. Oh. And not every one of them is going to have a venom gland, so that could be interesting. Right, so we just click on the bugs to collect them. Click on the bug. Oh, no, the sorrelisk isn't going to let us do that. We're going to have to fight first and then click on the bug. Scritchy scratch, kitty kitty. So, two sorrelists down and no venom glands. They just don't want to give us the venom glands, do they? Well, I guess we just have to keep going scratchy scratch then until we get what we need. It's hanging up on us two at a time now, huh? That isn't nice, guys. It really isn't. Now, if I could just extract your venom glands without... Yay, we got one! If I could extract your venom glands without killing you, we would try that, but... Health down a little bit. Let's get that back first. Back to Kitty. And let's go find another one. Can we grab it? No. They won't let us catch the flies. I guess the sorrelisks like to eat the flies and don't want us to steal their dinner. Catch the flies. Skin the sorrelisk. 
Yeah, I'm starting to think that this getting the venom glands might be a little bit more difficult than we had at first anticipated because we've taken out quite a few of these guys and so far we've only got one venom gland which is a little disappointing. So let's see, did you guys have some? Yay, we've got two off those, that's good, that's much better. So now we're at three or five venom glands and three blood flies. Oh, and there's another blood fly there. And another one up there. If we Can we jump on top of the rock to get that? Yes, we can. We're nice and agile as a kitty. We can get up there easily. And this will be our last blood fly. So we have one test we can administer to our Lucille. We just need to persuade some of these sorrelists to give us their venom glands and then we can go look for the onions. I'll get a little bit of skinning done for our... Uh, any chance you could come out of the water? I don't really want to go in there. I'm a cat and I don't want to go into the water. <laughs> I'm a cat. Uh, look, you made me get wet. My fur's wet. I don't like it. Ew. Guess I can bask in the sun to dry off. Oh no, I've got to go and save Lucille. I can't do that either. Oh, made me go in the water. Cats don't like water. Here we go. Give me a venom gland, little sorry Liz. Hey, don't lick me with that tongue. Nope, they just don't want to give it to me, do they? I just need one more. Do you have a venom gland? What's with this licky tasty thing that they keep doing? Look at that, the tongues keep licking out like the you can't attack me with your tongue. Your tongue's not got a venom gland. Licky licky with the tongues. Ooh. Very strange. Oh look, there's another quest over here. Right. Oh, oh, porcupine. Hello, porcupine. Oh. oh, are you guys um, guarding the onion field? Yes. So, porcupine's guarding the onion fields. I think that other quest is to do with the porcupines, isn't it? I need to go and get that. But I think there might be a few more porcupines in my way to getting that. Right, do we have that? Oh yeah, there's lots of porcupines. Okay. And the porcupines are coming in twos to try and cause problems for us. Right, so if we sneak down the edge of the field, we might be able to avoid a few of these porcupines so that uh, I'd kind of like to leave a few alive because I have a feeling that this quest over here is going to be to do with the porcupines. Do you want me to get some porcupines? So you kill six territorial quill rats. Sorry I didn't read that, but uh, this guy's chasing me, so we have to fight him first and then we'll read it. But this way he can count for the quest as well. Right, where's the quill rats? Quill or be quilled? Oh, hello there. Sorry, we don't get many mainlanders in these parts. This plot was my husband Sam's farm. He used to tend to the onion fields every day before the curse befell Glenbrook and took him with it. With my husband gone, this farm is all I have left and these quill rats are making sure I don't even get that. I hate to bother a perfect stranger, but could you help quell this infestation? Kill six territorial quill rats in Hawthorne's plot. Yeah, we can probably help you, dear. We need to grab an onion. Can we have an onion, please? Can we have a nice onion? Oh, that's a shriveled onion. 
So that's going to be looking for a needle in a haystack um, quest as well then. Yeah. Sadly, because of all the cool rats and the fact that her husband's dead, uh, she can't defend herself against the cool rats, so she can't farm the farm, so the crops are not doing terribly well, and we need at least one onion to help Lucille out, because we need to make her cry. Well, that was quite easy. We only had to pick up three before we got our juicy onion. That was lucky. We could have been there an awful lot longer than that. So now we just need to get enough cool rats and to help out the farmer. And there's quite a few of them here all at once, so the, the knack is to be to get enough that you can still kill them but not get too many all at once so that you end up dead. Because you could run around and collect the whole field and then uh, get overwhelmed. Well, so far we seem to be quite well at picking them off one at a time. That ensures that we are not going to get overwhelmed all at once. Though our health has never got low, it did get to like three quarters when we had two at once over the other side, so it's probably better to err on the side of caution, especially while we're levelling. And then learn your limits as you go. That is the last of the cool rats that we need. Can we get back to the farmer without getting more? No, we can't get back to the farmer without getting more. Oh, we got two at once as well. Definitely didn't mean to pick up two. I misjudged the position. See how easy it is to misjudge where you're walking. Cause you, I thought I'd get past those without actually attracting any attention. And instead I got two of them, so... We do need to be a little bit more careful, don't we? Right, here we go. Can we... Here's the healing thing. Right, let's uh, skin these guys. Well, Adela, we here. cleared out a few for you. Thank you, Druid. Maybe in reviving these fields, I can bring a bit of Sam's goodness back to this accursed land. Make Good luck with that, darling. Coven. I hope that everything works out for you. And just run through all those wolves. Now, will they stop chasing me by the time I get back to Hangman's Point, or am I going to have to fight them? Any chance you guys are going to retreat? Yes, good. Right, Lucille, I've got the things for your tests. Are you ready? Have you had any luck in the onion field? Great! You found one! I was worried there wouldn't be much left growing on that farm. The people of Drusvar should learn a thing or two from that hardy onion. Well done. With this many blood fires, at least one is bound to bite. Good. This toxin should have the um, desired effect. God, I can't believe I'm going to go through with this. The burden of proof. I think we have everything we need to conduct three of the villagers' tests. Let us hope this is enough to convince them. I'm sure Constable Framer is chomping at the bit to proceed with this trial, and I would prefer it if you were the one to administer the tests. I may not know you well, but I trust you further than the Constable. Speak with him when you're ready to begin, and do me a favour. Make this quick. Administer the test to prove Lucy Waycrest's innocence in Hangman's you Point. Are you quite finished? I'm becoming impatient. I'm sure yes. you are, Constable. The stalling will not help you. We will find out the truth behind Miss Waycrest soon enough. I'm telling you, Constable, she's innocent. I've seen witches in this Drustvar area, and she isn't one of them. We are ready to begin the trial and prove her innocence to you, Constable. The execution. A trial, finally! The trial can commence! As is customary, the Lady Waycrest has chosen the tests she will undergo to prove her innocence of the accused crime of witchcraft. She has selected this mainlander to administer the tests. An unusual choice, but... As a show of good faith, 
I will allow it. The first test will be the shedding of tears. Let it be known that Miss Waycrest shed not one tear during this entire process. Is the accused even capable of weeping? Show us that we may pass our judgment. Not trying to influence the uh, outcome of this trial at all, Constable, are you? Not trying to waver everybody into believing what you want. She's crying. Witches can't do that, can they? Calm down. Calm down. There may still be trickery afoot. We will continue with the trial. The second test will be the stinging of insects. It is well known that even the voracious blood fly will not taste of a witch's vile blood. Release the flies, then watch as they scatter from her bewitched flesh. Don't worry about me. I can handle a few bug bites. At uh, Constable, aren't we supposed to be proving whether she's guilty or innocent? Uh, why have you made sure that you think she's guilty already? Not fair, Constable. Not fair. Stings. The bugs don't seem to be avoiding her. If anything, they're biting more than usual. Interesting, but hardly conclusive. Let us move on to the final test. The purging of the viscera. Yeah. It is well known that a witch's power is fueled not by food, but by consuming the souls of her victims. Her insides are an empty husk. Are you prepared to prove otherwise, Miss Waycrest? Indeed, I shall. The venom, Mainlander. Constable, you're a very vicious one. You really are. Stand well clear. Oh, I don't feel so. She got sick. Ew. That's impossible. Maybe she's not a witch after all. Of our village. Quiet! I will be the one passing judgment here. I remain unconvinced. Ugh. This still does not explain the happenings at Fletcher's Hollow. What? After all I just went through. Tests or no, you will only be absolved once we uncover the truth of what happened to our village. Oh, I'm sorry, Mainlander, but I may have to ask another favour. No, this constable's not a nice one, is he, Lucy? The burden of proof. That didn't turn out as expected. Well, the test worked, Lucy. Oh, and most of the people believe you now. It appears that my absolution may truly be in your hands. Oh, look, the cloaks are quite an upgrade for us. The curse of Fletcher's Hollow. It's obvious the constable won't be swayed until we discover what happened at Fletcher's Hollow. I know very little myself, only that the village has been overrun by monstrous creatures. I must ask that you travel there in my stead and try to uncover what befell the village. I'm sure Marshal Reed will prevent the constable from harming me while you're away. Do this for me and I will help you as I can. Speak with Evelyn Parr at the Timbered Strand in Drustfar. I can do that for you, Lucille. Constable, you're a nasty man and it's not fair that you're still saying that she's guilty when she's a nice person. So, Marshal, I'm afraid I'll have to leave Lucille in your capable hands and we need to move on to the next location and uh, we will we'll be back once we've done that. So, I am off to my new location, which is all the way over here. So we need to follow the path up to this monument and we haven't finished saving Lucille yet. We will have to be back after we do some more quests further down here. So, oh look, there's a little hut here. Oh, quests. Okay, so we will be stopping off here at Mudfish Lodge to do some quests here in the next episode. RTQ the Fisherman has a quest for us here. I think we are going to have to fight some seagulls.
I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode where we do the quest here for Artie Hugh and then move on to speak with Evelyn Parr at Fletcher's Hollow like Lucille has asked us to. Because we still haven't managed to save our Lucille. So I'll see you in the next episode from Soft Kitty 99. Goodbye and happy gaming!